Hey everybody, it's AKMan 1984 and I'm here to show you how to play with uh, turtles. And as you can see here I have three turtles um, dancing. So uh, I'm going to show you how to play with turtles and um, also if I restart these turtles, restart this one, Oop. and restart this one, and restart this one. Um, yeah, they're kind of interesting. So, uh, you see I have a computer here with a little uh, wireless modem. So if, and if you look here, restart the computer. So it says, uh, what do you want the turtles to do? So, um, you can have any commands, you almost, almost any commands you want. So if you just say dance, dance, and then you wait a little bit. And there they go. So they start dancing for you. So uh, that's, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's pretty simple. Uh, so before I do that, I'm going to just show you guys that uh, I've got the lights working here. So um, I'm just going to make it dark. So oh, there you go. So it turns on and then turns off. So. Uh, I did this with the uh, sensor here, so this pretty much detects uh, if there's light or not. And uh, I'll also show you my room here that's kind of changed, uh, which I've added uh, three uh, ice makers because um, I kind of figured out that I need a shit ton of ice to make this reactor work. And even though this uh, all this configuration I have here, it's still not enough for for that reactor to work. So I'm gonna keep messing around with it. But here is the little uh, thing that makes it work. Now why it's like this is because uh, first off when you receive an information from the wire uh, the um, sensor up there it always is on. So see now it just changed. I don't, I don't know if you noticed it. It just changed because uh, it got dark. So if I put the light again it's gonna go back so this is a what is that I forget I think it's a or gate is it an or gate yeah it's an or gate so on top there is an or gate and here you have a uh, n nor gate or AND gate, I don't remember. I think it's a AND gate. Uh, yeah, it's an AND gate. So why I have these is because you have to transform the uh, the signal to a non-signal and then uh, transmit it to the lights. So that's on and then it comes off. And then here, why I have this is because if this was off here, see now is there has to be two conditions, so two conditions for this to work. So even now, if I put it to dark, if I go dark and that's on, yeah, sorry, that's off. Uh, this goes on, but it doesn't trigger the lights because this is off. So what that means is this computer is gonna trigger the lights. So now it's going to see it's on because here what you're going to do is uh, if you're going to decide if you want the lights to be automatically turned on or automatically turned off. So that's I just added that so that uh, uh, I can turn it on and off without doing the option. So that's pretty much it uh, for that. So let's take these off and let's go back to the beginning. Now I could do this. I could do the same setup with CC sensors, sensors, but uh, I don't know if I should. So uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop these guys from dancing. Stop dancing. Okay. So um, before I show you the code, um, let's go into help. Turtle. All right. 
So this is the what this is the functions that you need to do movement in your um, in your editor. So these are these are the uh, the codes that you need for if you want to make the turtle do stuff in your editor. I'm going to show you something else in in a couple of seconds, but I'm just showing you um, what uh, what the commands are for the turtle when you want to make something. So uh, turtle forward is obviously go forward, and you put if you put a number here, it goes forward that many blocks. Back is the same, down is the same, turn left is the same, turn right is the same. Uh, so, uh, turtle select uh, slot number. Now what this means is th the slots here. So if you see here, these are slots, and it selects the slot that it wants. And this is used for uh, this is the inventory of the turtle. Uh, sorry, this is yeah. This is the inventory of the turtle, and you can have a you can have a a whatever is in this inventory selected, and it could detect what's in that inventory and compare it to other stuff. I'm gonna tell you what that means in a couple of seconds. So that's one what it means when you say say uh, turtle select, and then you put the number. So this is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six. Seven. Eight. Nine. So Turtle get item count. Now it tells you how many items are in each uh, slot. So it can tell you what, how many items, or it can know how many items are in each slot. Item space is how many, how much space is in your uh, inventory. Dig is obviously dig. Dig up is dig up. Dig down is uh, sorry. This dig is to dig forward. Dig up is to dig up, and dig down is to go down. Place is to place objects. Now, any objects that's selected inside the in the in the in this area will be placed in front of the object. So, in front uh, will be here. So, this is the front of the uh, of the turtle. Uh, place up will be on on the top of the turtle. Place down will be on the bottom of the turtle, and detect will detect any object that's in front of the um, turtle. So anything that's here, it will detect it. Detect up, obviously again, um, whatever is on top of the turtle. Down is uh, whatever is underneath the turtle. Now compare is a really good command. Compare will it will s compare the item that's in. The you can have multiple uh, functions for the compare. So, compare can be. It can compare the item that's in this slot to this slot, or any other slots, or, or from any slot to any slot. Or it can compare the item that's in this slot to whatever's in front of it, whatever's on top of it, and whatever's underneath it. So, that's what compare is. So, you obviously, here you see compare up, compare down. Drop will basically drop the items, and drop. Uh, well, this is the same. I don't know why they, they did this. I forgot why. But and uh, basically, you put the quantity of how many items you wanted to drop. So that's all the uh, commands you get inside of the turtle. Now you obviously don't forget that you have multiple turtles um, in in computer craft. Where are they? You have the basic turtle that uh, you can you have to program for if you wanted to do something. You have the mining turtle, which uh, mines and uh, any item, and wireless turtle. Now these two are different. So you have this turtle, which you have to command. You have to put the commands and wireless turtles that you can send it commands. And also you have the wireless mining turtle also. So it's the same thing, but they are different. So these are wireless turtles as you can see they're wireless turtles um, so um, if we go into programs here is the programs that are uh, already in computer craft that you can do with turtles so uh, excavate is a program that will uh, 
excavate the uh, area that uh, the turtle is in. Um, what else? Go will make the computer uh, will make the turtle go forward. How many steps? GPS is another one, but I don't know how it works pretty well. But it gi it basically gives you the location of where the turtles are, and you can you can make it go to that de uh, location. But it's not easy to get it to work perfectly. Um, what else? Uh, and tunnel is another one. Turn is another one. And where was it? Uh, dance. Sorry, I can't remember this. Dance is the one I'm using, and it's already in there, so you can uh, you don't have to make it. So my program is edit start. I'm gonna show you here because it's it's really simple. So while true do rednet open write and wait for the message and then shell run message and then end. This is the same program for each of the turtles so what it does is waits for the message to, re to be received. So if you go into this computer and you terminate this program and you go edit start up oops, start up so it's the same, almost the same. So while you do open write uh, write what do you want the turtle to do and then message equals read and then rednet broadcast now I haven't showed you guys this um, this one I, I don't think so anyways. what broadcast does is it broadcasts to every computer that's in the area so every computer will receive the message that it sends and also again you, you guys remember this um, uh, you have to write it exactly how I wrote it with the two dots and everything and also message has to be the same as what you have here so if you want to do uh, MSG if you want or M MG or whatever MG has to be the same exactly as here and as here so that's pretty much it so if I want to oop, let's just say this and restart the computer I do um, excav Eight, five. Hopefully it's gonna work. No. No such program. Okay, should work. Um. What if I just do? What about five? Okay, it's like a little program. Yeah, there's a little bug in uh, there's a little bug in my program. Uh, but it should work. But uh, if I do, if I do uh, dance. This should all start dancing. There you go. So at least that works. So um, that's uh, that's that's how you do that. So I'll just show you uh, the excavate program. So if I do excavate um, five, so now it's gonna go on, and it's it's trying to excavate something because. Uh, it's uh, trying to excavate what's around it, but it can't because it can't find anything. So now it should go down. Get my way. Oop. Damn it. Let's do it on this guy. So terminate this stupid program. So excavate. Alright, let's do. Uh, so let's do uh, tunnel 5. So. What it's gonna do is it's gonna tunnel its way uh, forward. So um, should work. So as if we had uh, here, let's there you go. Let's put it in there. So let's say uh, x. 
Oh, actually, sorry. I'm an idiot. Um, this doesn't work because it's not a mining turtle. So, there you go. So let's do... Uh, Cavate... Five. So yeah, here it goes. And if you look, see it's all capturing all the items. And uh, it's going along. So it's pretty cool. Um, stop this. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, the rest is up to you to write the code and to find out how you can use it. And I'm going to show you more on turtles next time. So have a nice day.